Good morning, everyone. We are here today to present you the brushless line here on ICA. Um, the, we have got a very big investment on this, on this line range that we developed I mean, since 2018. Uh, we came with this solution after comparing what is a, a brush motor that, as many of you maybe know, is made of, you know, a, of course, a 24 volt motor with brush. On, on the head of the motor and those brushes in the long run tend to consume. Then the other problem we have on a 24 volt brush motor is the noise that comes from the motor which needs to be filtered. But the other technology in low voltage is the brushless and as you can see the brushless it's made of a stator and a rotor. In the rotor you have the magnets, very high magnets are insensitive with the, with the neodymium and you don't see the, the brushes on top of the motor, so there's no brush consumption. So it's more indicated for intensive usage. Then the other advantage of the brush is that it's matched like a, an inverter technology, so you can really run up and down the motor, you can change speed easily, and you can have a, a very much uh, softer approach when you are in slowdown. If those technology uh, are the developed by ACA, not only in the mechanical parts, but also on the electronics. So even the electronic, as you can see, the main investment ACA made is on a, on a Unigate, which is a universal control board made of a logic system called Unilogic, in different power module, made for brushless, regular AC motors, 110 to 20, 24 volt regular motor brushed, and inverter technology. So very easily you can connect one of those technologies based on the motor you have in stock with the main logic board. With a USB cable, very easy. You can put up to two different modules. If you have, uh, for example, a, a dual, uh, dual swing. Then uh, the main advantage of this board, the unit logic, it's, it's the feature that brings all together in one, in one compact PCB. So you have the two relays, that you can program into the display the way the way you want. Then you have two GPIO input, the same way you can program as you want on the display. Then you have a timer for the clock. And then you have separate command, open, start and close. Then you have the possibility to add expansion module for um, other relays or RS-485 or flashing light management, whatever you need. And we kept also the same, the same um, uh, input for, you know, for the strip module for the receiver, uh, for, for the universal receiver. And you can also program the board through the, through the C cloud. So when you program the board through the C cloud, you connect the C cloud here, and the C cloud gives you the possibility to remote control the, the control board. And as you can see on the, on the demo gate here, we have a, an, an electromechanical motor on top, and an hydraulic motor on the bottom, both with brushless technology, and a C cloud that is connecting to the, to the web, can be connected Wi-Fi or LAN, or even LoRa with the LoRa protocol, long range, and the boards. Now it's, it's one board for a motor, one board for the motor, but as you can see, they're similar, they're the same board, with the same power module. The hydraulic comes with a built-in absolute encoder, so it will give you the exact position, it will give you a, a possibility to do a circuit learning and also reverse an obstacle. We got also the certificate that, you know, show you uh, that we got into the, we got into the EN12453 as, you know, the graph for, for the reverse. The board can be programmed easily on, on the backlight display or if you like to uh, do a remote programming, you can use the C-Cloud. As you, can, as you can see on the signal, we have a duplication of what you see on the, on the display and you can see all the features that you know, the, the signal can bring you. So we have a start command, a pedestrian start, a stop, and then you have the three buttons you can see on the board, up, down and OK. Then you have a test button and then you have a service to check what happened. And then you have the two alarm and default you can activate or deactivate you can get emails with the false or with the alarm then you can see the logs so you can see what time an event happen or who enter what time and then you can see the menu so the menu can be can be scrolled 
as a list or you can type the number if you know already the number and here you can do all the management of the board the same the same way you do physically on the display for example we can show you uh, start command given from the mobile anywhere you are on the hydraulic motor you see how slow down and approach very smoothly the end of the of the stroke then automatically it goes back because we set a timing and what we can show to you now it's also to you can see the the direction of the motor now is in closing so you can see on, on your on your app what you can do for example you can change the speed so you go on the menu you go on the menu and you select you know the, the opening speed for example and it's number 17 you go ok and then it show you it was set as 70 percent for example you can go 100 percent if you want you type 100 and you go full speed the advantage of the brush is that also it's, it's normally quicker than you know a regular motor so because it's, 20, it's 36 volts ramps in a different way the slow down so now it's set on a certain ramps but you can easily modify you go on the menu you you, you change you know the, the inclination of the curve or the the length of the curve for the slow down and you can see the close goes here And the same thing we can we can add it on the on the electromechanical. The electromechanical comes with positive stops and mecha and electronic limit switch integrated IP six IP sixty seven. You can see how it approach really smoothly and low noise the end of the stroke, keeping a full power even in slow down. That's another advantage compared to the twenty four brushed we will show you after also the the, the list of product that we we have available under this range so the range is made of swing sliding barriers and door operators you can see how it approach very smoothly you know even in close position against the switch and now it's off.